Build your relationship pipeline. So if you know your target market, 
these five or ten people will be simple, simple to get to. So if, if you know who it is that you're, you know what your product is and know that what your, who your product serves, then, um, then there's a niche out there for you. So you can just go to that niche where people are hanging out. It could be groups, it could be pages, it could be uh, people who they follow. Uh, it could be any, you know, anything, anywhere. It could be forms. It don't have to be social media. It could be you know, forms out there, online forms. But um, if, when you know your tar target market, then you can uh, those, those profiles are, are become very simple to find. Because, like, say for example, you know, I, you know, I won't mention any companies, but say I was going to an XYZ company in network marketing, and I, I, I could go to that company. I know that they're in the industry already. <laughs> say I want to sell them an info product. Or say I want to see if they were open to a, another business opportunity. You know, they were not doing well on their own. So I can go to their uh, profile I'm, that's already in the XYZ company, and I can start building a relationship with them through that. You see, does it make sense? Okay, because I, I, man, I apologize. I might try to follow as I go. And I was just wondering, so is it specific people or companies that? It will. It's just. I'll say it, it could be both. It just, it just depends because okay. people, you know, people in network marketing, people follow people. Yeah. But the thing is, is that um, a lot of times when you get involved in network marketing, well, the first thing that people do is they like those company pages too. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. So, so that's people. So that's people that you can actually connect with. That makes sense so far. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, and, and with this too, like, like with social media, be you know. Be authentic and be real. I mean, uh, you know, people can read through the BS now, you know, especially now with videos and, you know, I would say back in like, you know, the early 2000s, mid 2000s, you can hide, you can hide behind an article and you can hide behind a wall and just, you know, write some content and get it ranked or whatever. Those days are gone because, you know, being, you know, with social media now, it kind of took out the middleman. Um, so uh, if, you know, Never mind. I'll, I'll talk about that next time. Just, just be real, and, and don't, and don't, don't, uh, don't use pickup lines. You know, I was talking about how people, uh, you know, always use, uh, you know, pitches and opportunities. You know, talk about opportunities. Don't use pickup lines. Be, that, that, that's what I'm talking about being authentic too. You know, send a personal message that you that you actually did the research that you went to check out the comment. I mean, you go to check out the timeline or you left a comment, and then. You know, they know that you're real because as a person reading it, you're gonna know if they are are real or not. You can, you can tell if it's a script, or you can tell if it's you know a person being real, even if even if you don't know the person, right? 